welcome my dear friends to our time of devotional reflection for Monday, June the 12th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year we are following Pastor John MacArthur's devotional book entitled Drawing Near Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled Persevering in the Word. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 25, reads as follows. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Pastor MacArthur writes, the fray, oh, our, our main thought for today is doers of the word are persevering learners. I read that again. Doers of the word are persevering learners. Pastor MacArthur writes, the phrase, and abides in it, or as I read from the NIV, and continues in it, uh, in James 1.25, demands our close attention. That word abide, or continues, translates a Greek word that means to stay beside, to remain or to continue. Hence you hear why it could be translated in some, in some versions of the Bible as continues in it. The idea is that a doer of the word continually and habitually gazes into God's perfect law. In other words, that person is a persevering learner. When you have that level of commitment to the word, you will be an effective doer, one who is in union with God's will and seeks to obey it above all else. As you do that, God will bless you. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll be successful in the eyes of the world, but your priorities and perspectives will be right and the Lord will honor what you do. This verse is called is a call to carefully examine yourself in light of God's standards. That's not a popular thing in our society because so many people have an aversion to serious spiritual thought and self-examination. I believe that's why Christian television, music, and other forms of entertainment are so popular. Escaping reality through entertainment is far more appealing to most people than gazing into the mirror of God's word and having their spiritual flaws and blemishes exposed. But if you desire to be like Christ, you must see yourself for what you are and make any needed corrections. To do that, you must continually examine your life in the light of scripture. Can you imagine what the church would be like if every Christian did that? Can you imagine the changes in your own life if you did it more consistently? Only the Holy Spirit can enable you to be a doer of the word. So, yield to his leading through prayer and confession as you continue to study and apply God's word. My dear friends, I thank you so much for joining me each day for just a few minutes to hear uh, the devotional reflection that John MacArthur has created. And I so appreciate you being here to hear me read it to you. I have taken Pastor MacArthur's suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've included them in the description portion of this video so that you can follow up with what he suggests. And I strongly urge you to do so, as it will help you in understanding these issues and in your discipleship walk with Christ. Until we can be together again, be that being tomorrow, I pray, I bid and hear another another devotional reflection, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.